get to one of the more controversial measures that is projected to pass in Oregon, Measure 114. Th what you're seeing is what it looks like the results are right now. Here's a look at what you've been saying to us about this measure. John wrote in and said, does Measure 114 get illegal guns off the streets? Measure 114 only appears to make honest people who want to own guns more honest. How does licensing honest, responsible gun owners save more lives? Crooks, thieves, and gang members won't be applying for permits as they don't get their guns legally. I'm all for saving lives, he writes, but this just seems backwards. And we also got a voicemail from a man named Lyle. Personally, I don't see how this is going to stop any mass shootings at all. It's going to cost the taxpayers of the state of Oregon thousands and thousands of dollars that aren't going to come from, that have nowhere to come from. And it's just going to create a big mess. It's not going to save any lives at all. That's my voice. Have a great evening. Thanks. Okay, thanks to both of you for taking the time to let us know what you're thinking about this. For those of you who are not familiar, here's a quick breakdown of what Measure 114 is set to do. Anyone who wants to buy a gun in Oregon will have to get a permit first. Those will be issued by local law enforcement, but the process to do that is still a little bit unclear. What we do know is this. The steps to getting a permit include completing a gun safety class and submitting to a federal criminal background check, which will include getting your fingerprints taken. The permits could cost up to $65 and would be good for five years. And if you're denied, there is an appeal process. If you are approved, there's no limit to the number of guns you could buy. These permits would be required only to own the, not to own a gun, only to purchase a new one. So let me make sure I say that clearly. The permit is not required to own a gun, only to purchase a new one. That means that current legal gun owners do need a permit do not need a permit, sorry about that, unless they want to buy another gun. The measure also bans ammunition magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. With the exception of people who already own these magazines, they can keep them. New ones just cannot be sold. Now, so far, there's not been any lawsuit or court action against the measure, but it's likely only a matter of time until that happens. And the votes from the election still need to be certified, so it is possible that's why nobody has filed suit just yet. But even if the courts are not involved yet, the controversy is just getting going. The sheriff of Lynn County, Michelle Duncan, took to Facebook to tell her constituents how she feels about this measure. Here's an excerpt. Unfortunately, we are seeing the passage of ballot measure 114. This is a terrible law, she wrote, for gun owners, crime victims, and public safety. I want to send a clear message to Lynn County residents that the Lynn County Sheriff's Office is not going to be enforcing magazine capacity limits. She continues, although I am hopeful that the passing of this measure will result in an immediate lawsuit against it, as it should, there is still going to be a lot to sort out on how this will impact our residents, the Lynn County Sheriff's Office and other police agencies in Oregon. So right now, it's not entirely clear what Sheriff Duncan means when she says Lynn County will not enforce magazine capacity limits. Again, if you have those magazines already, you can keep them. So will the sheriff simply allow gun shops in Lynn County to continue to sell the high capacity magazines? We don't know. That appears to be what she's referencing, but we were not able to get her on camera to talk about that today. It's also worth noting about 70% of voters in Lynn County said no to Measure 114, and the vast majority of voters we spoke to near Albany support the sheriff. Gene, for her. Tell me why. Because that 114 is the most bogus bill I've ever read. So I agree. I voted for her, and I'm thankful that she feels that way, and I'm thankful to be a member of Lynn County. Lynn County, by the way, is not the only one feeling this way. In Union County, the sheriff wrote that he also will not enforce the law when it's enacted. But since the sheriff's message has been making the rounds on social media, a few of you have written to us about this. One person with the name Job or Job said, since when do sheriffs decide which laws should be enforced? It appears Lynn County and the sheriff's office will decide what, if any, laws to follow. And Sid wrote in to ask, Putting the potential court challenges aside, how can a sheriff decide what laws they will enforce? I noticed that over the last few years, several sheriffs across the country have made similar proclamations over a wide range of subjects. It appears to be capricious and outside the law as the average citizen perceives our system to work. 
Thanks to both of you for your input. So we talked to a Lewis and Clark law professor who says the legality of public officials not enforcing a law is kind of a gray area until the courts weigh in. If the courts say, no, this is okay, this is good, then I think at that point, it's been settled and the no government official can still maintain the view. Well, I still think it's unconstitutional. So this thing certainly feels like it's rushing headlong toward a lawsuit. We did get a note from the Oregon Attorney General's office saying that the AG does expect local law enforcement to comply with the law, including enforcing it. So time will tell, but people on both sides of the 114 debate will be watching any potential lawsuits closely, and so will we, of course. And we'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Let us know what you think about Measure 114. Send us an email to thestory at kgw.com or call and leave a voicemail, 503-226-5090. I look forward to hearing what you have to say.